just for the next hundred years, but for thousands of years, tens of thousands, if not millions of years. And I see a long future stretching out ahead. Some people are already preparing to become part of this transhuman era. One of them is Terence McKenna, an ethnobotanist who studied shamanism in the Amazons. According to McKenna, to get ready for a future life where we will live uploaded in computers, we must first prepare ourselves mentally. The best way to do so, he believes, is through the use of psychedelic drugs. In a sense, this historical crisis or this singularity that we're approaching is like a transition from a low dimensional world, say a world of two or three dimensions, to a world of four, five, or six dimensions. This is what I believe actually happens to a human uh, brain mind system under the influence of psychedelics. So, in a way, the best practice for the uh, approaching singularity is the repeated dissolving and reconstituting of one's personality through the use of psychedelic uh, substances. This is one of the most interesting new psychedelics in the world. This is salvia divinorum and uh, it is definitely one of the plants which will shape the next few decades of the new millennium. This is a coleus. It's ironic that these plants, which have been in our kitchens and in our windowsill flower beds for generations, turn out to contain psychoactive compounds as powerful as any known to science. These are not particularly interesting in terms of drugs, but they're certainly bizarre. When I take psychedelics, I always do it in a shamanic style, usually at night, usually alone, in nature if possible, and then I watch. I pay very close attention. I use my mind as an alchemical vessel for carrying out observations on the union of spirit, my spirit, my personality, and matter, the physical matter of the substance that I'm ingesting. Nothing in human experience is as much like the singularity as a psychedelic experience. In a way, it's a microcosmic anticipation of this macrocosmic event in history. Uh, when we take psychedelics, we undergo a mini apocalypse, a mini-revelation, and it positions us then for these larger events in the historical time stream. I'd like to climb up here, we may. This is one of the most interesting plants in the garden. This is Socotria viridis. This is the plant which causes the vision. When taken with ayahuasca, when taken as a liquid, the experience lasts about four to six hours. It's not as intense as smoking it. Smoking it is the most intense experience this side of the yawning grave. When you can see the future, it is a very difficult thing to deal with the idea that we are, in fact, one of the last generations that will live a normal human lifespan. And there's a tendency for us, therefore, to want these things to occur more rapidly than they may actually occur. This is the number one intellectual challenge. Namely, you get to rejuvenate yourself. Now, how much is that worth? That's worth a great deal of money. As a matter of fact, when you get people my age, it's worth all the money that they have. 